Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumen and today we're having a look at Abiotic Factor. Abiotic Factor is a survival crafting experience for one to six players set in the depths of an underground research facility. Caught between paranormal containment failure, a military crusade, and chaos from a dozen realms, the world's greatest minds must survive against the universe's biggest threats. Yeah, this may sound familiar, this may look familiar, and this may even seem familiar. That's because it's basically Half-Life but without Gordon Freeman. It's Half-Life focused on the science and the scientists. And I love the idea of it. And yeah, I mean, it looks fantastic. If you'd like to do a deep dive to discover all there is to discover about Abiotic Factor, you can find some links below and there will be timestamps. Probably not that many of them, but there will be some. Now, as we jump in here, I'm just gonna say that all the options are available on all the options, if that even makes sense. It makes sense in my head, but it might not make sense when I actually utter the words. <laughs> so, like, if you pick a female face here, and if you pick, like, a female body type, and yeah, there are some options to differentiate between masculine and feminine, some options, then you'll have all the other options available anyway. The beards are currently not in the character creator. They'll most likely come at a later date, but you can use anything on any one, and it's fine. So, let's jump in. Let's start on the head. Here we have Hubert. Hubert and Beth both have descriptors, the rest don't. A very particular, very specific energy. And we have Beth, organized, forthright, and dependable. And we have M02A. I think that's supposed to be like an android or something. Lee and Ada. I can't tell you with 100% certainty which are the male or female faces. I think Hubert is male. <laughs> I'm guessing Beth and Lee are female. I'm guessing M02A is meant to be sort of neutral, whatever, you know, android. And Ada sounds like a girl, but looks like a guy. I don't know. I don't know. For now, we're going to take Hubert, right? Then we're going to move on to the hair. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in just a moment and show you like some of the combinations you can do with the faces and hairstyles. Hairstyles, clean cut, bald, professor, and practical ponytail. I <laughs> I just love it. I love how uh, how Half-Life this looks. <laughs> you know, you've got this like this style, this dorky scientist style, and and they've just nailed it. Like with the hair, with the faces, with the outfits, with the ties, they've just nailed it. And I just I love it. I I, I cannot help but smile all the way through here. <laughs> God, <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, I know it's not much. I get it. I get it. I'm not like I'm not praising this for being like you know a fantastic system with all the inclusivity and all the different options and like beautiful visuals. No, no, no. It's like it's nostalgia and it's just the right kind of let's say that right pinch of humor that they added. And I, I don't know. It just it works. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep going. I, I I like talking. So yeah, let's take clean cut for now, and then I'll show you the different colors you can pick. I was kind of impressed by the colors, to be honest. Like, these are colors that I did not see very much of in Half-Life. So the inspiration was not 100% entirely Half-Life. They went outside the box a little bit here, outside the Half-Life comfort zone. And the colors are nice. And now as we get to this, before we jump into the outfit stuff, I will just pick something like uh, Auburn over here. Then I'll go back, and I'll pick a ponytail. Then I'll go back again, and I'll pick uh, Lee. And then you can see what the character looks like. Uh, yeah, I mean the face is a little lumpy, sure, 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 uh, but but it still looks a little bit more feminine. Uh, I think Beth obviously is supposed to be a female as well. Uh, this is the one hairstyle that looks more feminine. Uh, she, yeah, she looks okay. She looks okay. I'm thinking they should probably add like one more female style at least, and then they can sort of settle on that. But uh, yeah, you can differentiate between male and female like this, and then as you jump into top, you'll see there are a few more options that you can use to uh, make your character look more masculine or feminine. We're going to jump in there right now. As I mentioned, the beards are not in, but for top, you have a selection of M male styles. Uh, you've got the lab coat. This is just the tops, by the way. You've got the rolled up sleeves on the lab coat. You've got coatless, and then you've got coatless rolled sleeves. So, you know... It's, it's two, but with the rolled sleeves variants. And these are all the male ones. Then if you jump over here, this is the female version. If you compare it to the male one, there's not much of a difference. You can see the boobs, they stick out like a micro fraction more. Uh, the, uh, the body is a little slimmer. And yeah, I mean, the arms are maybe slightly less jacked. Uh, but the female ones, they do look slightly... Uh, more feminine because I give you <laughs> I say jack but like because look look at these look at these arms good god yeah yeah they, they're not skipping gym days man 
what else they got to do except science and gym uh, so yeah you got the masculine versions of the outfits and the feminine ones and that's cool now if you choose coatless here then you can still do the shirt and you can pick your shirt color cool colors here very cool and my favorite part probably of the whole character creation system is coming up next i'll take the the let's take a white shirt for now okay i love this this is the tie okay <laughs> and you know i don't know if it's like specifically a scientist thing but like it, it just sits right with me that you get to pick all these crazy and funny and like kooky tie designs you know it's just it, it fits it works and it's like gonna be a thing where the scientists all come to work and they have this like weird uh, competition it's like an unspoken rule where they're competing to see who has the craziest tie the most colorful tie the most eye-catching tie i dig it i don't know again it just fits you got the ugly winter sweater tie science science's little helper the snowman valentine this is some shamrocks yeah it's like it's perfect I, I love it and like if they're gonna do anything they should add more ties <laughs> it's like leave the rest of the stuff just give us more tie designs you know let's pick the little hearts for now i love it let me go through them one more time just because they are fantastic and i can zoom out if you'd like to see what they look like from here i don't know why but it just sits right with me and it makes me feel happy having having so many cool tie designs i wish i wore ties all the time i know there's nothing stopping me from doing that but like still you get to pick accessories uh, as your next option goggles basically a lot of different goggles here different colors and then you get to do glasses and there's also these lenses which yeah it's pretty intense i dig these but it's pretty intense then some rectangular glasses for now i'm going to leave them off so we don't get too distracted and then we're going to go on to the bottoms now this is another one of those points where you can pick you know the fact that you're more masculine versus more feminine you get different car keys here uh, well, well different cargo pants here or, or what are these i don't know chinos i, I don't know i don't know uh, but then you also get to pick the lab skirts which i kind of like uh, I, I think that showing off the legs is is nice <laughs> it's uh, they, they they're pretty muscular i'm just gonna say that about the legs they, they're pretty stacked in the leg department uh, again, different combinations here can look different, you know, so if we take like the feminine lab coat like this one uh, We take I mean the shirt doesn't really matter too much right now and we take like a, a nice white skirt to manage It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, there you go uh, And then you also get to pick the belt now the belt you're gonna want to take this off if you want to see the belt Slightly less interesting than the ties, but there are some nice belts here as well You know, they're a little more exciting I feel like the colors didn't translate so nicely from there to there and i'm not sure what that is about like i'm not because this says like blue and that's not really blue this is supposed to have like that bluish colored dots on this is supposed to be green colors aren't translating exactly right but it still looks kind of good and then finally you get to pick the shoes here i say finally because of the last big option uh the shoes are nice i i, I kind of like the style of them i'm not sure if this is like official uh, half-life footwear or some nonsense like that but they look sciencey and that's all that matters right there you go and then id card you get to pick whether you're part of the research division defense team manufacturing or containment pretty cool pretty cool now voice here we are dr h i'm experiencing an insufficiency of food ah! there must be water here somewhere hmm it's positively balmy. I'm ravenous. Stop! I need liquid soon. Hmm, things are heating up. I'd better eat soon. Ow! Tired, lightheaded, dry mouth. Ah, uh, dehydration. Getting warm now. So there you go pretty good those are your voices that's uh what you have if you want to you know go for the male route versus the female route again probably the most impactful choice along with the face i'm gonna talk about the elephant in the room here the color of the legs 
I don't know what's going on there. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. Uh, I, I imagined it was like part of the of the the head that you choose, you know. But I had a look, and it doesn't seem to change. So it's probably a bug, or or they all were in stockings, or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I, I just thought I would address that before I finish this video up. But there you go. That's a look at everything that's available. There's no randomizer or anything like that. So uh, basically, you have these options. You put together what you like, and uh, yeah, hopefully it works for you. You can make some pretty interesting looking characters. I also like the fact that when you pick the uh, the full lab coat, it puts it in as a little pocket square instead of the full tie. Uh, it's kind of a smart addition. It's it's something that one would not, you know, think of, and and it's nice. And the different characters you can make, yeah, they're a little, they're a little interesting, they're a little varied. Uh, there's not a huge amount on offer just yet, but there's definitely enough to differentiate yourself. You know, you can stand out from the crowd a little bit, uh, as long as the crowd isn't too big. But I think that the main thing that they nailed with this, and the main takeaway here, is that they've got the style down. Uh, they've got this uh, dorky scientist look nailed, and it's awesome. For this style of game, for this type of game, it's perfect. I don't really have any criticisms, other than I'd love to see more variety. You know, just a few more options. Maybe some hair, uh, maybe the beards, when they get added, spice things up a little bit. And I think that if they keep going in the current direction, you know, if they carry on with this trajectory, they'll probably add a bunch of really cool stuff that suits the style, because they've nailed the style. And I keep saying that, and I keep, you know, pushing that point home. But that's probably the most important thing here. Is you jumping into this expecting to fill the shoes of a scientist uh, that's in this world or in this game that's very much inspired by half-life and it just feels right yeah the characters that you get to make here just feel right for that role i dig it hey if you guys have anything to say positive or negative i'd love to hear it about the character creation or customization system about the game itself yeah let me know absolutely want to hear it so that does bring us to the end I hope that you guys enjoyed looking at this with me. I'm sorry, I just jumped in and I had some fun with it. I wasn't being overly analytical about this because I feel like with a system like this that's still early days, it's nice to just jump in, see what's available and enjoy yourself. That's the approach that I like to take. So, hey, thanks for joining me for it. You can, as always, find my links below. My Twitch stream is down there. My coffee page is down there and everything else. Give this one a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. And hey, happy doing science, guys. Happy that.